Hi, and welcome back to my channel, Chronically Minimal. I'm Christy. I talk about all things chronic illness and share with you my journey to live a more simplistic, minimal life. Today, Today I'm going to show you what I have done with my dresser flip. I'm really excited with how it turned out and what I've decided to do with it. So let's jump in. So when I started this flip, all I knew was that I wanted a piece of nice furniture to go against this wall that would give the room some more character. I hadn't really thought about what I was actually going to put in the dresser or in the flip. When I was thinking about this journey of minimalism, I want my space to look nice and not very cluttered. and. I started to put things on the bookshelf and I was like, you know, this just, it doesn't seem right. And as I was looking at kind of the clutter that is in this space, I had noticed that there was a lot of stuff for my dog. Uh, she is a German Shepherd that I'm training to be my service dog. And she has a lot of stuff, understandably. So what I decided to do was use this unit to store all of her belongings. That way it doesn't look like I just have dog stuff everywhere. So let's go ahead and take a look at how I have everything organized. So once I figured out that I wanted to store all of my dog's necessities in this piece of furniture, I also knew that I didn't want it to look like a storage unit for all of my dog stuff. So I made sure to decorate it in such a way that it still looks like a piece of nice furniture in my space, but it's also a great way to disguise some of the dog clutter that I had lying around. So the first thing on top here is her vase full of treats. I just have these ready to go. One, so that if she does something good during the day, I can just reach in and give her a reward without having to, you know, ruffle through a bag and get a treat for her. Another thing is if we have a late night training session and I don't have time to prepare treats for her, I can just reach in, grab a handful, and we're ready to go. I also have her treat pouch on the back. It's just a nice place to keep it and it doesn't get lost. Moving down to this first shelf, I have a couple of things for Bella stored on here. The first is I keep my extra treats for her in this box. And this is just a decorative box that I picked up at Joann's a couple of years ago. Um, they have different sizes, but this small one is great for keeping extra bags of treats. Um, they fit in pretty nicely. Then over to this container, I have mostly her medications, heartworm, flea tick, and some of those like pill pouches that you're supposed to be able to put treats in and then give them to your dog and the dog's supposed to like eat them. Yeah, she doesn't do that. She's figured out how to eat like the pill pouch, the, the tasty stuff, and spits the pill out. I don't know how she does it, but she does. Um, over here, I have grooming things. I have some wipes. I have her brush, nail clippers. Uh, she loves to play fetch. So I have this to use when I train her. If I don't want to use treats or if she's not interested in treats, I'll pull this out as a reward for her. Then moving down to the shelf, just some, I guess, more decorative things so it doesn't just have dog stuff on it. But I have my Harry Potter series and I have my Chronicles of Narnia series over here. And no, I'm not missing the sixth book. My sister has it. So now we get down to the drawers, which is my favorite part. I think it's kind of genius what I came up with. So in this drawer, I have mostly like miscellaneous stuff that doesn't fit into a category. I have some extra shampoo and conditioner. I have her dog boots. Um, I'm keeping her very first service dog harness because I think it is so cute. I can't believe she used to be this little. Um, I have another extra harness 
And then I keep like her hard treats here, like the milk bones and the ones that kind of crumble. Um, I have a bunch of those, so I keep them here. Then this drawer is my favorite. This is where it all started. I, I had one of those big plastic containers that I kept all of her food in, but for the space and the idea of not being cluttered, I really thought outside of the box, no pun intended, maybe it was intended. Um, and I decided to put her dog food in this drawer. So as you can see, I just took the bag and I poured it in here. And so all of her dry dog food is down here. I also put in some of her like extra wet food for when she doesn't eat. Um, and I just have it on the sides. So yeah, all of her food's in here. Finally, over here on the side of the dresser, I have an old hanger that I took apart to make this, um, I don't even know what to call it, but I keep some shower curtain rings on here and then I can store all of her extra leashes, her, her extra collar and a couple harnesses. That way they're all in one place and if I need to go get an extra leash, I know right where to look. All right guys, I hope that you like this video and I hope that you like how this flip turned out as much as I do. I just love the idea of all of her stuff fitting into one space and not looking cluttered all over my living room. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below. See you next time.